Welcome back folks, Barry Melford here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the Slidebot from Pixapro. It's a motorized dolly which fits into your pocket but allows you to capture some really smooth motion in your video. But before we get into the product overview, I'm gonna show you some footage which I went out and captured the other day using the dolly. And then afterwards, I'll be showing you a little bit of the behind the scenes from some of that footage. All of that footage that you just saw there was shot in 24 frames a second on the Nikon Z6 with the 24 to 70 lens. Now none of that footage had any image stabilization added to it in post processing. It was left on on the camera but apart from that that was it so you can see from that footage it's really nice and smooth. As long as you've got a nice smooth surf to shoot on the Slidebot is going to give you some really cracking shots. And not just cracking shots, it's going to give you some really dynamic shots. Shots that you wouldn't normally be able to get or shots that would be very cumbersome to set up or need a lot of gear to set up and shoot. So let's get into a little bit of a product overview first before we dive into the BTS of those shots. So the Slidebot takes a weight of up to three kilograms. Not only is it just for DSLRs, it's for mirrorless cameras, point and shoots, phones, you can put a GoPro on there. It really is a versatile tool to have. Now if you have an existing slider, and it's the right size for the slide bot. You can actually use the slide bot on top of your existing slider as a motorized slider. I used it here in this shot as a quick demonstration to show you how it works. So when I was out and about, I managed to capture a little bit of BTS footage of me using the slide bot. And you can see from this shot, when I'm shooting up at an angle to the ceiling, I was just to pan round the scene, and then obviously I've speed rammed it up in post processing, so it kind of just whipped round. But that type of shot to normally get and on that angle would be quite difficult, but it literally took minutes to set up. I was only in that area for about 30 minutes, and I was able to capture all of those shots that you saw in that sequence very quickly and very easily. Really is a great tool to have. So let's look at another sequence here where I'm coming to the table and sitting down typing. I just wanted to put this together to show you folks what kind of shots you can actually get using this little motorized dolly. Now I've just set the dolly up to arc around the laptop and then I've speed ramped that up in post processing. Now with the shot you see here of me typing was simply having the dolly in between my hands and having it sliding along as I type it really was an effective shot. And the same again when the camera is pointing up towards my face I'm just sitting there pretending to type and it's just panning across my face. Again, some of those shots would be really difficult or really cumbersome to set up or really time consuming to set up, but it took a matter of minutes using the motorized dolly. So I was in the kitchen here yeah, chopping some cucumber. Now you can see it's a really tight position, but obviously having the dolly on the camera was really easy to get this nice dynamic shot of me chopping the cucumber. So with them types of shots, the dolly is going to be perfect for. So in this shot, when I'm walking up the stairs, I managed to capture this sequence in one shot. 
I had the dolly set up on a glass skylight and I had it rotating 360 degrees. So as I've walked up the stairs, I've walked past one side and then I've come around the other side and I've just speed ramped it all up in post process and it really was so easy to do, but very, very effective. And again, it took a matter of minutes to set up, shoot, and that was it. A process like this would take a while using a lot of other gear, but having something so small that can fit in your pocket that's able to capture that type of shot, able to take that type of weight of a camera at three kilograms, it is really a great tool to have in your bag. I find it really fun to use, and the more I'm using it, the more I want to use it because it's so easy to get the shots. Now it has a battery inside, a rechargeable battery. Now, if you're shooting with a maximum weight of three kilograms, that's going to give you approximate run time of around about six hours, which is pretty good for something that size, to be fair. Now, obviously, the camera I was using, the Nikon Z6 with a 24 to 70, isn't quite that heavy, so I'm going to get a lot longer use out of that dolly, especially if I'm not using it at maximum power, at maximum speed. So as you can see on the side here, it has three LED lights, which indicate the speed. So if I change that, one is the lowest, two is the middle, three is the highest, okay? The button beside it is the indicator, which allows you to change direction of the dolly. So it'll allow you to go that way, or that way, which depending on which way you use it. It has the on-off switch at the side, also has the USB adapter, which allows you to plug in any outlet, or if you're on the go and you've got the USB in the car, you can charge it whilst you're traveling, which is really handy. It takes roughly about three hours to charge the unit itself. Now it has the three eighths and one, one quarter and three eighths adapter on the top there, and it does come with an adapter, which allows you to mount your camera to that. Um, it has the adjustable legs on the unit too. So depending on what kind of arc you want going around the product, if you want a straight line, you just make sure that those lines are all lined up nice and straight and that'll give you a nice straight pan across any product or any scenery that you're shooting if you tilt the legs or around any product that you're shooting or any area that you're shooting like i say it allows you to get some really dynamic shots now in the shot that you saw when i was pointing the camera up to the ceiling where I, when i initially set that up the camera started tilting over but on the back of the slide bot there is an adjustment screw which allowed me to pull these wheels further forward to give me a little bit more leverage with that camera and once i had done that the camera sat there all day long just point up no problem at all was never ever going to tip it over so that was really really nice design of the slide bot now it has three wheels on it obviously the main one is the motor that's the one that drives the whole unit these are just rubber rings which can come off and i would highly advise once you've used it if you've used it outside just to get them back home take the rubber rings off the unit and give them the rinse and get rid of any little debris and they just literally just pop back on over the unit and you're good to go the next time you're out and about now it does come with a remote control and it's super handy when you're working by yourself it has the start stop on the remote control it has the power control the speed level control so you can adjust the speed from the remote control and it also has the direction control so you can either send it forward or backwards so this is what you get in the box. You get the dolly, you get the remote control. You also get a 1 8 to 3 8 adapter. You get the Allen key and you get a USB adapter. And all of those products fit nice and neat inside of a bag and take very little space, but allow you to catch some amazing, amazing shots. So there you go, folks. That is it for this video, the overview of the sleigh, but a really great tool and one I'm going to enjoy using a lot more. So if you've liked the video, folks, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Like I say, I will put all of the links in the description below so you guys can head over there and check it out in more detail. And that's it for me now. And I'll see you, folks, in the next one. See you then.